Brent Verkus here with Find the Capital, and uh, today I'm going to show you uh, a, a neat little trick that we use to get ourselves noticed more in the search rankings. How I became the guy that, <laughs> that understands this stuff fascinates me, but either way, if I can do it, you can do it. So, Brent Verkus for Find the Capital. Uh, check this video out. So we're all trying to figure out ways to get noticed in the search rankings and uh, and get our get our companies out there. And so what we're going to do in this uh, in this short video is we're going to show you a little trick that we have learned to get noticed more in the uh, search rankings. So what you're looking at here is you're just looking at a typical uh, Google search. You've got the pay-per-click advertising that shows up here, and then throughout this area you've got uh, you know the, the posts that are showing up higher than higher than others. But this one right here seems to stand out, and the reason being is this guy's got his picture right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to accomplish that and uh, and get yourself noticed more in the uh, in the search rankings. So let's go ahead and uh, and show you how to do this. So the first thing you need to do is uh, get a Google Plus account. Okay. Now I think I think Google makes you get get their services, and, and I think for doing so, they actually help you show up higher in the search ranks, and we've seen that with some of our YouTube videos, but any way you go about it, this is my um, this is my Google Plus account. You can see it's filled out with my profile and everything else so people can find me, etc. So what we're going to do is you're going to want to make a change to this section. Basically, what you're doing is you are linking your Google Plus profile to your website. So all you're going to do is you're going to hit edit under links and you're going to add a custom link. So the area that you want to change, do to area, is what you're going to want to change. And so basically what you're going to do is you'll go in and you'll add a custom link. If I can get my computer to let me do this right now for you. You get to add a custom link and then you're going to label it so you know what it is and then you're going to stick uh, your website address right in here where it says URL and you're going to save it. Mine's already in there so I'm just going to cancel out. And then what you're going to do is you're going to pull your Google account number or your Google Plus number from your link URL that's right up here when you're sitting in your about page uh, within Google Plus. And so basically what you're trying, what you need to do here is you need to pull all of this link right up to where the numbers stop. So right here just before the slash and about. And you're going to copy that and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your website and you're going to go to your user profile section. So in this case we're using um, a WordPress site and right through here is where our users are. And So we're going to go ahead and go in and, and, uh, and click on the users and find our user account. And So in this case you're looking at myself within our website. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find about two-thirds of the way down this little section right here. It actually makes it very easy for you to do this, or WordPress does. They actually have a Google Plus section where all you do is cut and paste your Google account number right here. You just cut and paste it in and you hit save. Okay, now once you've done that, your website is linked to Google Plus. That makes Google Plus happy and they're now they now know that you're a real user and they're actually going to allow your Google Plus account to be associated with any any posts that you make which is what causes your uh, picture to come up. And then so what I want you to do here before you go any further is to test this by going to Google Plus's structured data testing tool website. My wife's just walking in right now. Hi Lisa. Hi. <laughs> and you're gonna, so anyway, you're gonna go to this to test your site and uh, let me show you how you do this. You just cut and paste in the URL from one of your website's web pages and then hit preview. And then what this will do is test it to make sure that you have it set up right. And in this case, you can see that mine was set up correct because you've got my picture and personal profile here. So that means that this is officially linked to my Google Plus account, which will enable us to have search ranking or search uh, <laughs> search tools come up in the search ranks with something a little bit different than the others. And so uh, this is Brent Verkus. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So if you need any help, uh, make sure you contact us at Find the Capital. We'd enjoy the opportunity to do some business with you.